Okay, so you noticed that Spectrum uh, lowered the price of their gig internet service, and uh, you realize it's only twenty dollars higher than what you're currently paying for the, you know, the mid tier service, and, and you're like, um, well, I want a gig. So, yeah, so you go ahead and you select a thing on on their website and say, yeah, upgrade me, and then they they mail you the stuff to, to upgrade. Okay, so what you get. Is you get your, your bundle of cables and stuff, and, and a splitter, uh, a little splitter in there. Um, probably won't need any of that. I mean, if you're already set up for service, you probably won't need any of that. So the next thing you notice is there's two boxes in there. Uh, of course, you got your your modem, and you got your router. And then you got your, your power supplies and everything else for those as well. Plus you got more cables with your modem. You got... So you already have service with them. So you're going to update your modem and router. Of which I don't know that they're different than the ones I have. I'm just kind of trusting that uh, Spectrum and their infinite wisdom can figure out if my devices are capable of the gigabyte service or not. And I'm going to assume since they sent this stuff that they're not. That's it, just a guess. Just a guess. So, you can take your modem out of the plastic. Uh, put your trash wherever you need to put your trash. So you're gonna wanna unplug your old modem, of uh, which, I don't know which one that is. <clears throat> it's one of these. Let's see if I guessed right. I did not. Did not guess right. It's okay, we'll unplug the router. It's fine. Right? We just unplug the router. Uh, now, we're gonna hope that the other one is the uh, modem. <coughs> there we go. Got the modem unplugged. The old modem unplugged. And you're going to want to drag the power supply for the new modem. Oops. You're going to plug your new modem in. And then route your uh, cable or your, your power cord to wherever it needs to go to plug into the outlet. Now we're going to... We're gonna Pop that off for the moment. All right, you're gonna take your uh, coax out of your existing router or modem. I'm sorry. And we're gonna plug that into the new modem. So, uh, just in case you don't know what coax is, it's, it has that little. Uh, piece of wire there and then you just put that wire into the center of the connector and then start turning that nut onto the threads which will attach the rest of the wires. Now sometimes it doesn't line up quite right you just make sure you get that little itty bitty exposed wire into the hole and then once those are threaded it'll be fine. Um, now we're going to take the internet cable out of the old one and we can actually take the old one and push it off to the side for now. Uh, just in case it's a different Ethernet cable, just in case the other one's Cat5 and maybe this one's Cat6, uh, I doubt it, but just in case we're going to go ahead and take the new one and use the new one. And I'm just going to plug that in <coughs> to the Ethernet slot on the back of the new modem. Uh, yellow box, yellow connector. Looks a lot like a phone cord, only fatter, thicker, whatever. So that's how you know what that is. Now with that done, now we're going to go ahead and plug her in. <clears throat> and as far as the modem goes, we're done with the modem. Uh, it's time to uh, go on to the router. So while that's booting up, 
you can see it's, the power is on, so it's booting up. It's, it'll, it'll light up here in a minute if it's uh, connected. I think it's a green light. But no, it's blue. Okay. It's blue light. At least the picture says it's a blue light. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if it is. Yeah, I don't know. So the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to get your router out. And the router is definitely, definitely different. Uh, this router, ooh, nice peelable stuff there. Ooh. Wow, this router is actually almost a work of art. Okay, there's something. There we go. Got a little bit of plastic still on it. So. Okay. So on the back of this, you're going to want to take what you just connected to your new, your new modem, and you're going to connect it into the yellow of the new router. Now these are your Ethernet cables or your Ethernet ports. So if you have anything that's hardwired, go ahead and connect those, uh, and those would be connected to the back of your of your existing router, of which you know I don't have anything connected right now because I plan ahead. So the only thing we have left to do to this, uh, unless you have to plug stuff in, which you know you just unplug it from the old one, plug in the new one. As far as for me for this, I am just going to go ahead and plug this in, and then I'll get my wireless connections or my Wi-Fi connections set up. Should be the same. Everything should be set to exactly the same as it was, so it shouldn't. Okay, so now you can see by the time we set this up, our modem is already saying online. Yay! So the router is doing its test, uh, which you can tell because the lights are starting to light up here. And we still miss some plastic. Get that off there. And we'll just drop those cords in behind here. Set this up here. Uh, I don't... Oh wow, look at that. Isn't that pretty? It says spectrum and it blinks. And, Okay, so it says that the light on the router should light up whenever it's ready to go. So all we need to do is wait for this light around Spectrum <coughs> to light up and say it's ready. Okay, for the activation process, um, I would definitely, definitely suggest doing a hardware connection. Uh, I tried it with, through, the, uh, through, the, through my phone yeah, through the Wi-Fi, uh, did not work so well. Um, so yeah, there's there's that. And then of course you box up your old stuff and send it back to them. So yeah, box the old stuff up, send it back. Don't need it and don't want to be charged. For it. There's that. Hope you guys find that useful or helpful. And as always. Bye.